everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel it's your girl Bree and I know it's a little bit late but happy new year um I did end up taking a break but today we're going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me so I will explain uh, why the break happened <laughs> and whatnot um but so happy to be back um joining you all so we're going to be doing like I said a get ready with me um so I did already do my hair off camera I did crimp it um I've crimped my extensions before but never my actual hair so I like how it came out came out excuse me this side I don't know what's going on with it so I might fix it um but I did get a crimper from Bedhead um from Ulta when they do like their big hair event um but I do believe they still carry it and it is a pretty affordable crimper so I will have it linked down below but without further ado let's go ahead and get this video started so I don't ramble um so as always I am going to go ahead and prime my face while I talk to y'all but yeah but happy new year I know I am late I had told y'all if you watched my vlogmas which if you did thank you so much um definitely enjoyed doing it it was definitely a lot of work um but happy that I did it and you know could say that I made it the full um 25 days because I did of course watch other vlogmas videos and of course everybody was like this is a lot I don't know if I can continue to do this so definitely appreciate the support um in future years um I know sometimes it gets a little bit messed up as far as like the algorithm with um YouTube and whatnot um so I know that's why a lot of people did not end up doing um vlogmas just because you know you kind of lose a lot of people and it's a lot of videos and stuff and then just a lot going on so yeah so it was fun to do um i considered switching it up to maybe do it another month out of the year um instead of just in december when everybody's doing vlogmas so yeah we'll play around with it but once again if you did tune into my vlogmas definitely much appreciated um and if you haven't had a chance to catch up of course those videos are still available um just go ahead and make sure you subscribe to my channel of course so that way you can watch all those videos and never miss any future videos from me join the bff of family of course but yeah so why did I go on a break? So yes, uploaded my video for Christmas on 25th and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break, which by the way, anything that I'm using today, if I don't mention it verbally, it will be linked down below. I always have those links. So um, sometimes I don't do shades um, just because I just wanna recommend the product and then you kind of pick and choose what shade you are. Um, but if you ever are curious, you think or know that you are my exact skin tone, then definitely let me know and I can share um, what shade I am using. But um, yes, I'll have it all linked down below. But um, so finished up Vlogmas and was like, okay, I'll take a little bit of a break, but I wanted to give you guys a New Year's like Eve or yeah, New Year's Eve look basically and stuff. Cause at the time we were on the fence about going out and stuff like that, but I just wanted to show y'all. Y'all, we got sick. <laughs> so uh, I'm pretty sure you probably know what sickness I am talking about. If, uh, if you, you know, if you hear somebody say they sick, you usually assume what happened. So yeah, so me and my husband actually got sick uh, right after Christmas. So uh, Christmas was what, Saturday? So Monday we started not feeling, or Monday I started off waking, I woke up not feeling too great. Um, and then, you know, just kind of carry on about the day. Still masked up, of course, <laughs> and whatnot. And then by that night I was like, oh, no and then Tuesday the following day I was like uh yeah no I do not feel good <laughs> so yeah Tuesday was probably like the worst of it and whatnot um but yeah but we are feeling better um I'm still a little bit um congested kind of but not terribly and so I just notice it more so when I wake up in the morning kind of um but yeah but we are feeling better so that is why I ended up taking an extended break which was fine because I went literally went hard for all of um Thank, or not Thanksgiving y'all, <laughs> Christmas and December and stuff, literally posted a video every day. So I was pretty much either filming every day or editing every day. So um, like I said, it was fun, but it was a lot. So I was like, okay, well, guess we're gonna take an even longer break <laughs> from YouTube and stuff like that, but it's fine. Um, you know, I, that's why I'm doing today's video because the look that I had planned, I was like, nah, we can still do this look. It's not going to, it wasn't going to be a glamorous look anyways and whatnot. But I was like, we can still do this. Uh, but hold that thought, I'm gonna actually do my brows off camera so I can focus and I will be right back. All right, so we're back. So I'm actually going to be doing my eyes first because I didn't mention to you guys before, but I'm going to, but I'm pretty sure you saw by the title of the video. I'm gonna be doing like a silver glittery smoky eye today. So um, I will, disclaimer, I'm not perfect at it, <laughs> which I'm sure, I mean, there are some people who are like really good at it, but it takes some good blending and technique and all the things. I'm just putting that out there. So, but of course I just like doing these videos and whatnot. So yeah, so first things first, I'm going to be uh, getting my eyelids prepped. I'm just using this NARS uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer. But yeah, but anyway, so back into this little chit chat and whatnot. So yeah, so definitely feeling better. 
Um, and I probably honestly needed a break because I never know when to like sit down and take a break. Um, if you ask my husband, which um, if you have any a man in your life or you are into trucks and cars and motorcycles and all the things, definitely go follow his channel. He is almost to 20K, so definitely trying to get him up there so i'll have something over here over here <laughs> um have his uh youtube page there and then also have it linked down below uh, but anyways so he always makes fun of me about you know not knowing when to sit down um my friends will kind of say that about me too just like you're always like moving and going and doing all things and i feel like that's just my nature honestly is you know just to kind of go get things done and all the things but yeah i definitely do not know when to take a break which is why when i got sick i literally thought it was my body my body's way of telling me to like girl sit down <laughs> and whatnot um but yeah but as it progressed i was like no i think this is something else <laughs> so yeah uh but it was nice um I, I probably didn't get like cabin fever until like uh, we got sick like Monday, Tuesday. So probably by Saturday, I was like, okay, I'm just kind of wanting to just get out the house, basically. <laughs> I was like, I need to get out the house. I just want to, not that I really needed to go anywhere or do anything. I just needed to like get out of um, these four plus walls or whatever. So yeah, so anyways, definitely glad to be feeling better, back in action, all the things, back um, working and whatnot. So yeah, so just kind of happy to be back in a routine. And that's something for me, um, at the end of the year, it just becomes a struggle because I think I'm like, I don't want to say burn out from the whole year, but just like, I kind of lose mojo to where I'm like, I don't want to do anything. <laughs> um, and just kind of want to be a, basically be a bum, <laughs> honestly. So yeah, so anyways, I just am glad to be back in a you know, work routine. I um, wasn't working out, of course, since I was sick, but definitely going to pick that back up. Um, and I know I never really shared anything really about myself kind of um, with this channel, so definitely wanna do that more, and of course, in today's video. So yeah, so um, I guess I should tell y'all about the eyeshadow. So yeah, um, I'm going in with a um, transition shade now. This is my Glam by Sham palette. Love this palette. Um, I've used it before on my channel, just some great neutrals and glitter shades. Um, I'm going in with this um, kind of like brown shade it's called In Crowd um, and getting those both on both of my eyelids and whatnot. So yeah, but anyways, um, I do enjoy working out. I'm actually um, a certified personal trainer and um, actually was training for about two years um, once I got out of school. No, I was like, about three years. <laughs> um, this one job that I don't really want to talk about because <laughs> I did not like that job, but I was pretty much like training, but more so in the sales portion of it and stuff. So yeah, but anyways, uh, I am a certified personal trainer and then I'm also a health coach as well. So love my job and just love getting to like work with people, which I think is why I enjoy doing this so much too, because I just love helping people and um, I do enjoy makeup and love makeup, of course. So yeah, but anywho, um, ready to get back working out, not just because it's the beginning of the year, but your girl has actually been working out. <laughs> um, I know I have my moments where I fall off, but I don't fall off hard. I may take like a week off and it's usually because of if I'm like super busy, like don't want to wake up and just kind of lose that energy or if I am like injured <laughs> or something, you know, like I physically like can't work out. But for the most part, I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty consistent. So I, I can say that about myself and happy to be able to say that about myself because I know a lot of people do struggle with that. Um, next up, I'm going to be going in in this black eyeshadow. This is the Jaclyn Hill. Um, this is like her mini palette. She came out with four of them. They honestly are like her volume one palette, but they just broke them up into four mini ones and just me be me i just have to have them anyways this is the dark magic one and i believe um you might be able to find some of these in like a marshall's or a tj maxx right now as well um but i did the transition shade and i'm gonna go in with the black so this is the part that always makes me nervous but i'm using a small pointer brush so um you make sure to go in very lightly and just kind of blend it out as you go you don't want to like go ham and put all of it on there because you're going to be sitting here all day blending or have to start over because it's black so yeah so Stay tuned on how I do this because I'm pretty sure I cannot talk and do this at the same time.
Okay, now that we have that glitter glue on, I'm taking um, the same Dark Magic palette and I'm going in with this kind of like silvery shade um, right here. Um, this one's called Power Cut. Um, but yeah, so anyways, uh, more about me, I guess, is um, after just talking about, you know, like working out, that is a passion of mine. But then also um, when I created this channel, uh, BFF stands for uh, Beauty and Fashion Finds. And ooh, this is a pretty silver color. Okay. I like this. <laughs> uh, but so it stands for beauty and fashion finds. And basically I love a deal. Um, can definitely thank my mom for that because she always had coupons. Um, me and her will laugh to this day. Like she literally has like a coupon bag that she has in her car. So anytime she was out shopping, grocery shopping, she was the price matcher. Hold up, I got a coupon for this. Can we double stack? Can we do that? All that. So definitely learn that from her. Um, and my friends always told me like you always find like the greatest deals and stuff and I was like because I like to shop and the girl can't be paying regular price for everything <laughs> so yeah so that is why um, if you follow my Instagram page if not I'll have it over here or over here <laughs> or as well but um, I post deals um, pretty much every day so whatever I get an email for and I know emails can be annoying for some um, whatever I get an email for I will post it on my page because I love to just share the love and the knowledge because i know everybody likes to shop i mean there are some people who would like you know don't like shopping and stuff which you know teach us wrong but you know for the most part everybody likes to look good or they like to buy things whatever it may be and i post a little bit of everything it's not always going to be makeup and skincare body care um i'll post like clothing deals um or even if i find something good for like your home technology actually i don't really do technology too much but if i find a good deal you gonna know about it <laughs> so yeah so anyway, so yeah, so um, definitely if you love a good deal, make sure to follow my page. And then that's why I share things with you all on here because I just know people like to save money. At the end of the day, you want to save some money. Now, if you don't like saving money, that's on you, but I know I like to save money. So yeah, so that is basically why I created um, this YouTube page. This one, I love to do makeup for myself. I'm not a makeup artist. Um, so if you come on here looking for like, you know, makeup artist tips, Sorry, I can't help you, but I can just share what works for me and then you can take, you know, kind of how you take what you want basically with it and whatnot. So yeah, so, but that's why I love to do this page. My husband actually um, really pushed me to do it. My friends did as well. Um, as I said, my husband has a YouTube channel. So he was like, you just need to go do YouTube. You love doing this stuff. You love shopping, you love makeup make a channel about it. So I'm like, you know what, you're right. And we do have our couple's channel, which I'll have linked over here. Just link everything today. <laughs> um, but I have those things, uh, or, you know, I'll have that linked over here. But yeah, we do have our couples channel, which in other exciting news, which I forgot, um, I think we're done with the eyes for right now, but I like it. <laughs> I've never done um, silver eyeshadow. Of course, I might come back later and, you know, fix them up a little bit more. But for right now, this is how it is. Of course, I'm gonna clean this up when I do my um, concealer and everything. So yeah, so in other exciting, exciting news, we are doing a um, foundation cocktail. That's not the exciting news, but we're doing this. I'm doing an ours. Um, I don't know why I messed his name up. This is All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation, and then I'm doing the Pat McGrath. This is her Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. These two together work really good, but um, we bought a house. <laughs> so um, I know that's, if you've been watching, well, if you're new here, you probably haven't seen our couple's channel, but if you go back and watch any of those videos, then we kind of show the process of buying a house and everything, but we officially closed the week of Christmas. <laughs> so the funny thing about that is we were actually supposed to have closed at the end of October. Then they told us it was like the middle of November and then it turned, ooh, I'm glad that fell on my nose. <laughs> um, and then it turned into in November, middle of December, and finally it was like, okay, you're closing in like right the week of Christmas, basically. Um, so if you bought a house, then you kind of know, you know, delays happen and stuff, but then especially with everybody buying houses right now, I am in the um, Dallas-Fort Worth area. It's crazy, y'all, it's crazy, crazy. But yes, we closed on our home. Um, so that was something else going on. So in the midst of closing and doing all those things, um, you know, your girl's still doing YouTube and whatnot, but I didn't share that on the channel. So I might start to include um, home shopping, home decor, some of that stuff. Cause this, I want this to be kind of like a beauty, fashion, lifestyle channel and whatnot. Um, so yeah, so we bought a home. Um, we have not officially moved in yet um, because of right now we are in an apartment and our lease isn't up um, just yet, but will be soon. So um, we're kind of doing like a little slow move and whatnot. But yeah, super excited about that. Um, we were definitely excited because 
you know, we got married in 2019 and then we uh, we took our honeymoon, thank God, because <laughs> we were gonna wait. But we took a honeymoon and whatnot. And as y'all know, 2020 happened. <laughs> so there was no traveling for us and all the things. So uh, we were like, okay, you know, 2021, we're about to move around. But then we we're like, dang, we want a house. <laughs> so, you know, that limited our traveling as well. So we literally have not been on a vacation since our honeymoon. And like I said, we got married in 2019, so do the math. So this year was definitely like, all right, we are going to be doing some traveling because we haven't really traveled together and stuff. That was another thing. Like we went on a cruise when we were dating, um, but that's the only vacation we've taken. Like we've been to places um, like to visit family, like in Houston, Louisiana and all that, but not like an actual like vacation vacation. So yeah, so we, um, Mexico and a cruise, well, both times, yeah on our cruise going to Mexico and then we went to Mexico for our honeymoon. <laughs> so yeah. So um all that to say, the Williams is ready to travel. So yeah, so I'm hoping this year um y'all can get some travel videos out of me. Um any type of travel vlogs will most likely be on our couple's channel, but if I want to do like any makeup or fashion related to, you know, beach vacations or just any type of vacations, it will be on my channel. So yeah. Um but uh yeah, YouTube is fun. Um I say I would say because of course you know I just mentioned like three different channels in our household <laughs> um i handle our couples page and whatnot but it's been fun so that's why i wasn't really too too new to this um starting my page and stuff because i just have been doing ours and for that shout out to my hubby because he's the one that taught me really you know how to like um film and edit and all the things that i do use my phone so we don't want to invest in a camera just yet but i probably say by the end of this year just seeing how everything goes and that will kind of determine you know following up how everything else goes as far as me adding on so y'all just keep you know watching and tuning in subscribing make sure you know liking the videos that always helps comment down below i've been getting a few more comments which i'm excited about because i just love talking to people and um, you know helping them and whatnot helping y'all so yeah comment down below you know what you like about the video and then also what you want to see from me as well because i am definitely open to your suggestion because i feel like with you know the beauty world and everything it's like so much stuff that you can do but then you also want to stay relevant and you want to make sure that you're catering to um, a lot of different audiences but then still being yourself it's a lot <laughs> so yeah so just make sure that you know let me know if there's anything that you want to see from me or something that you've tried that you want me to try hit your girl up and let me know i'm really excited for 2022 and what is um i am hoping to come from <laughs> and everything hope to come from it and whatnot um I'm using this elf buddy bronzer today um and this is like a little flat dense brush of morphe m580 i'm sorry i'm just being random on what i'm sharing and what i'm not because i'm just talking and doing makeup so yeah and also don't want this video to be extra extra long which it might be but it's all right um hopefully y'all enjoy <laughs> if you make it to the end make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know you made it to the end so yeah but um definitely excited to get back into filming um because i did kind of miss it it was nice having my little break and stuff but i was like oh he's making content we're moving up you know i'm noticing more people are subscribing which i'm happy about um and then just excited about being creative it's definitely like i said it's fun and i know some people always ask like what made you get into it and stuff i can definitely say you know like my husband and friends pushed me um but at the end of the day i knew it was something that i just enjoy doing on a regular like this is me and stuff so it's not something that i'm just like making up to do or whatnot it's like something that i truly enjoy I truly enjoy wearing makeup looking good finding deals finding cute outfits putting them together i wouldn't say i'm a stylist like I like what I like and whatnot now of course you know some things will be in you know that's the trend for right now and then other times I'm like I thought it was cute so I'm wearing it <laughs> definitely just like if you do decide to get into YouTube make sure it's something that you enjoy doing and that you stay true to yourself at the end of the day okay sorry I know this has been a very like random me talking and makeup and all the things I did go ahead and blend everything off, um, out excuse me off camera just for the sake of time since I've been rambling a little bit um so I did um set my under eye and I'm about to set my entire face with this Sephora powder um but yeah but and just basically just to sum up what all I was talking about earlier of just like you know happy to be in um YouTube I started my first video was back in um October I believe if I remember correctly um so yeah so been in it for officially about what three months or so now um so yeah definitely been fun and um enjoy editing and of course I get to do my makeup for y'all and I get to plan makeup since um with 2020 you know that kind of changed things as far as like 
me wearing makeup on a daily basis and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, so excited to be back <laughs> for sure. And they're definitely excited because I have been sick, so I haven't been doing my hair. <laughs> definitely no makeup was going on the face and just, you know, just, we was just out, yeah, we were just out here. <laughs> for sure, for sure. And of course, I'm sitting up here doing my makeup. Y'all ain't got nowhere to go. I'm just sitting here just on a Sunday as I'm filming. <laughs> Just doing makeup, decides to do my hair and whatnot. But yes, your girl is the back for sure. Going in with this one size beauty, y'all. I really like this powder. And um, I mentioned before, Sephora did it over the holidays where if you bought like a full size of an item, you got the mini one. So the mini one I got in my actual shade. And y'all, when I say this is my actual shade, I probably could have used this as an all over face powder. This is bomb. So I definitely, um, well, I'm continuing to use it. <laughs> probably should keep it for, you know, traveling so I cannot be taking like big items like this when I travel out of town. Um, but y'all, this one's really good. Like people kept talking about it. I was like, I don't need no more powder, but let me try it. And I was very nervous about it being translucent because I felt like before um, with translucent powders and stuff, I'd be like, ooh, I'm looking a little ghostly if I take like pictures or something um, or just in general, honestly. Uh, so yeah, but I do like to bake um a little bit more now and stuff I feel like it just brings the whole look together um which kind of reminds me just with makeup I know probably um it'll be rare when I do talk about new makeup as far as like launching if that makes sense but um I was following I follow like a page that posts about those things on Instagram and Laura Mercier I have some feelings about them right now <laughs> so they um have a new i believe it's like a tinted moisturizer um so i don't want to say something too much because uh, i look crazy right now <laughs> but um i don't want to say a lot because i uh have not seen everything and got all the tea on it but y'all the shades that they launch first of all y'all know with um well hopefully if you don't know maybe you do know as a limit of color it is very hard to find shades in our range and i felt like some brands were getting better at that all right i had to pause the video for a little bit but yeah i felt like some um brands have been getting better about offering a little bit more shade matches for women of color basically but y'all sit up to do laura mercier uh they're launching an attendant moisturizer first of all there are four shades for women of color four and i was like what in the world? I thought we had got past this. I'm like, it's 2022. I thought we had gotten past this of y'all offering four shades for women of color and we're just supposed to work with it. So, and of course, everybody was in uproar on the page that posted it and not necessarily going after the person that posted it, but just like, Lord Mercy, calm down. And I'm like, I like y'all stuff. And I'm like, ooh, I hate to be giving up products, but I'm just like, y'all need to get it together and stuff. Like, not, like, no woman of color is the same shade. We all have different shades, undertones, all the things. So, Laura Mercier, I need y'all to get it together. That's all I'm gonna say about that. That's that on that. <laughs> um, but yeah, but let me get this eyeliner um, on my face. All right, off my soapbox and my rant, gonna line my waterline with this Makeup Forever. If you are new here, this is a really good waterline eyeliner pencil. Um, it's creamy, it goes on well. If y'all have been watching me, y'all know this is Bay. <laughs> Honestly, Makeup Forever products were hitting last year for 2022. I bought quite a few of their stuff and I hadn't been in a while, but yeah, this one and then their um, setting powders, their Ultra HD. Yes, those were definitely some favorites. I should have done like a makeup favorites of 2021 um, for you guys. It's not really too late, but you know, I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, that would definitely, this one would be on the list and those powders would be on the list. One size beauty would be on the list too. <laughs> Even though I just got those like towards the end of last year, they were definitely good. But I, need, I guess I need to start keeping record of like what I purchase during the year and like make a list. So by the end of this year, I can kind of give y'all a little, a better list and stuff. Cause you know, stuff that you bought in January, you don't be thinking about it in December. Hopefully you still got it, you know, and stuff. So yeah, but I feel like this is good. And then just to kind of like smudge it out, I think I'm gonna add some more of the black eyeshadow that I put um, on the outer corners. I think I'm gonna add it underneath here as well. Okay, so I kind of got the um, 
the eyeshadow smudged out. It's not like the crispest <laughs> best even I wear, but uh, honestly, if I would have worn my little makeup tapes today, then uh, this would have been perfect. Look, but from from y'all's view, I think it looks cute. So yeah, <laughs> but I definitely want to kind of lighten up just a little bit lighter in the inner corner. So I'm going in with um, another one of the Jaclyn Hill palettes, the mini one. Um, but this one's called Armed and Gorgeous. So these are some pretty shades. But I'm gonna go in with like this more silvery white. It's more of like a dark white kind of and i'm just going to take um smaller brush i got like this little pointy brush i'll take her and put that in the inner corners hopefully it lightens it up like how i want it to okay yeah it's honestly the same color which honestly when these palettes came out and people were reviewing them they were like these are pretty much the same shade like there was one palette where or in the mini ones there was like two of the same color so it was like uh i don't know about that so yeah but i'm just gonna blend it up into the um shade i'm trying to do better about opening my eyes up <laughs> um hopefully if you if you're new here that's what i try to do if you've been watching you kind of notice that um i've been doing that because i feel like then i can see how my eyes look with just them being open so yeah <laughs> all right y'all so i prepped my eyes for eyelashes but i've been talking so much i didn't do no bronzer no blush no nothing <laughs> so that's what we're about to do so going in with my charlotte tilbury bronzer um this one is a favorite i was curious though if i would have gone lighter if i would have liked it because this one i have to use so sparingly because it's um it's not too dark for me but if i use a lot you can definitely tell but definitely want to kind of try um a, maybe a new bronzer um, my Morphe one got legs and walked off. <laughs> if you watch some of my um, holiday video or vlogmas videos, and you know I mentioned it, like I was very upset by that one because I'm like, where in the world did my bronzer go? I haven't been anywhere for me to have like left it somewhere or anything. So yeah, so that'll probably be another re-up because I love that one. But um, probably for this year, definitely want to go um, maybe get in the market for another like um just a bronzer bronzer or whatever and then for blush today we'll keep it simple i'm gonna go in with this elf this is the always spicy blush and um just kind of like a warm um like a brownish red kind of since the eyes like speak for themselves i feel like just need to be a little simple i feel like with this particular look even though i had meant for it to be for new year's which i feel like it is a new year's look but <laughs> i do still feel like it's just something pretty for evening time um like if you're going to a birthday party you gotta look once you see the whole the whole fit you'll see how it all comes together but i still feel like it's something like silver don't need to say just in you know the new year or whatever and stuff i feel like it's something that you could even do for your birthday but it's a cute birthday look if you are confident in doing your own makeup for your birthday but yeah so just kind of i always say with makeup as you'll learn with me um it's just you know don't be afraid to try something different um but make sure when you do it you ain't got nowhere really to be in a certain amount of time like you have time to play around so if it goes left you got time to fix it or you know don't be trying new products and you have to be out the door by a certain time and then you know it's like why did you try something new and then it's messed up and then you're freaking out you're upset and stuff so you know stick to what you know sometimes but if you got time definitely be a little daring <laughs> okay so put my lashes on i did go ahead and set my face i used the morphe jumbo continuous setting mist and so it is really really good um so yeah so next thing up is like i said i literally just did it just got on camera i just didn't show y'all um, so just kind of like fan it out but yeah i like the lashes i will say i am starting to like more of the natural lashes when i do i mean these are cute i like them but sometimes i do feel like they can like overpower the look but i feel like this look is very glam so we're just gonna go with it for today um uh, but for lip i'm definitely going to keep seeing things in the nude family i do like a pinkish nude um so first things first gonna go in with a lip liner um this is the mac lee chestnut this one's a definitely a good one if you've been around for a while and you're um, a woman of color most likely you're going to have this um, brown chocolate lip liner All right, next thing we're gonna go in with this Juvia's Place. This is a lip gloss. This is called Barely There, like a pretty pink. Um, so I'm gonna take a little bit off there and just go over that brown. All right, 
cute. All right, so let me take the scarf off, get dressed, and then I'll be back with um, the full outfit. All right, y'all, so we're switching up the view of this video, so I do apologize because you probably got two black panels, but I need y'all to see the full look, so get into it. I really like how this look came together, so of course, I'll go down the line. So um, as I told you, I did crimp my hair, so I'll just go ahead and come up for you guys. So I fixed this side. Um, I don't know why I was frizzing. I did not use... Um, what is it hairspray <laughs> um because i just didn't want to build all the products of my hair i did just wash my hair so i was like you know what we're just crimping it for today's video so hairspray may probably would have maintained it a little bit better but um yeah just disclaimer <laughs> and it was just this side i don't know because this side was fine this side was like what happened but y'all look at it i love it so this is a prada inspired <laughs> headband um prada did reach or not reach they launched <laughs> um these really cute headbands um and they came i think they have a one like this color they have one in like a black kind of rhinestone super pretty but i was in my, my beauty supply store and i was like i need this <laughs> and i felt and i when i saw it i was like oh this would go perfect with this so this is kind of like the excuse the cars and stuff you're outside <laughs> but um this is kind of like where the new year's aspect i was going into so if you just feel like being girly one night definitely <laughs> put this on but super cute and i like how it went with the crimped hair and everything excuse my dryer too by the way but yeah so anyway so going down the line um i went with like um sorry i want to flash out <laughs> uh i went with like a very statement piece um as far as jewelry so this is from express i've actually had it for a while so unfortunately i don't think it is available but you kind of get the drift find you like a good like statement necklace and then i also went Express again, excuse the wrinkleness. I was like, I'm not going anywhere, so there's no point in me <laughs> ironing the shirt. Um, but yeah, but I went with like, it's like a tunic kind of shirt. So um, depending on your height and how much of a uh, um, booty you got, <laughs> um, you can probably wear this um, as a dress possibly. I'm tall, well, I have on heels, but I'm also tall, I'm 5'9". So um, yeah, just kind of depends, but long. I'm actually ended up accidentally getting this shirt in a large, I originally got it in a medium, but my shoulders are broad and it was just too constricting and whatnot. So I was like, no, let's go back. I thought I got the large, got extra large, but I already took tags off, washed it and everything. So I was like, we're just gonna go extra large. Um, so yeah, so it is kind of blousy, but I don't know, I like blousy things these days. Now, younger Brie, the tighter the better. Older Brie, we like some, we like something that's a little bit more forgiving. So yeah, so like this, and I just kind of kept it open um, to give a little more sexiness to it. But then also you can see, um, the necklace as well and then this blazer y'all get into it so it's actually a double breasted blazer i've never worn it that way i like to wear it just open but it is a velvet texture so you kind of see a little bit more um on camera but love it pick this up from Nordstrom rack it is by top shop um i think this is something that i got like around like spring or summer and then i was like oh it's gonna be perfect for when fall and winter when it gets a little bit cooler um, but it is not super heavy um it definitely needs to be chilly if you wear it um but definitely not like heavy to the point where it's just like oh i'm gonna come out of this so yeah so love this and then i just paired it with um some express these are like their spandex um like a spanx dupe basically i did plan to get me some spanx one day because i heard those leggings are amazing they're like moto leather um so yeah so these have a little bit of a sheen to them so love those i've featured these on my channel before um, and then for shoes, I just went with um, a Steve Madden black pump. I just felt like it was just classy because with the makeup and the headband, just wanted to keep it kind of simple. And then with the necklace, of course, too. Uh, but with this look, you can do like a two-strap sandal where, you know, it's like one across the toes and then one that wraps around the ankle. Um, I feel like even some booties will look cute with this. A statement shoe will look really cute with this. Unfortunately, I don't have one, but you kind of catch my drift with how this goes. But I feel like this is cute. Um, a little sexy but not too much um it's still getting dressy but not too much um, so i feel like this could be cute um to wear to dinner um like a little cute fancy dinner um or just like maybe even somebody's birthday but lose this because you don't want to outstay somebody on their birthday or be doing too much on somebody's birthday um but i feel like this is just a cute like evening winter-ish look kind of so yeah so super excited on how everything came out with the outfit unfortunately i don't have a bag as well um i just wasn't feeling um the bags that i had to possibly go with this so y'all are just getting look and a little bit of accessories today but yeah so this is the look 
all right y'all so that wraps up today's video i hope you enjoyed um chit chatting with me for one um and then seeing how this look came together um as i said in the outfit portion i loved how everything turned out even with um just the eye makeup and then um the you know simple lip but y'all this headband <laughs> that's all the show for me so yeah <laughs> definitely love it so of course as always thank you all so much for watching please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you loved it enjoyed it liked it all the things <laughs> make sure you comment down below um what you liked about the look what you want to see from me if you just want to talk i'm there <laughs> make sure you also subscribe so you don't miss any uploads um from me but yes cheers to 2022 definitely excited on what's to come for this year and just continue um posting videos for you guys but yeah it's your girl brie thank you so much for watching and i will catch y'all on the next one bye